Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 3 for February March 2022. I am going to do the spreadsheet task which is task 4. The web page task is already done and uploaded. You can find the link in the description. You are going to create a spreadsheet to display data about lakes of Great Rift Valley in Africa. Open the file m22lake.csv. So I have opened the file lake here. So this contains details about the lake. The code is given, the name of the lake, country, area elevation, depth and water. Save this as a spreadsheet with the file name, country followed by your center number and candidate number. So let's save this. As country followed by your center number and candidate number. And it should be saved as Excel workbook. Delete row 1. So select row 1 and delete it. Right click, delete. Delete A, B, D, E, F and G. So we have to delete A, B, D, E, F and G. Press Ctrl key and select the columns. Then right click delete. Remove all duplicate data from your spreadsheet. So to remove the duplicates select the column on data you have remove duplicates option here. Click OK. So all the duplicate values are removed. Place on the left in the header the text created by then a space and your name, center number and candidate number. So we have to insert a header on the left side you have to type created by then your name followed by a space then your name, center number, candidate number. On the right side, automated file name without the file path. So on the right side, automated file name without file path. So just select file name. After inserting the header, you can come back to the normal view. Go to view, normal. Sort your spreadsheet into ascending order. On data, you can sort into ascending order A to Z. Click OK. Save your spreadsheet. Take a screenshot to show the print preview of your spreadsheet. Save. Go to print. This is the print preview. The header is fully visible, the grid lines are displayed, row and column headings are displayed and all data fits within the column width. So to set the grid lines, click on page setup. On the tab sheet, grid lines and row and column headings. OK. Place the screenshot in your evidence document. Let's take the screenshot from here. And place it in your evidence document. This is your evidence document. That's your evidence file.
open an exam in the file m22 grid and m22 lake now we need to open m22 lake again grid i have already opened it here this we can close country so we have grid and lake here this is grid file make sure all the data are visible create and format a new spreadsheet that looks like this so we need to open a new spreadsheet so file new blank workbook we have to write this text lake lake finder by country in column b it should be merged from b to g merge and center then we have country here these cells needs to be merged from c3 to g3 and make the text left aligned now code name area there should be a row between this which is partly hidden this way same way row 4 is also partly hidden here we have to write the code name area elevation depth and what next we have to enter these numbers from row 6 till 14 so let's enter first two numbers and then we can use the auto fill feature select these two and replicate it is bold and there is border for all these cells we have border here the wall borders and for this one also there is border now there is a fill color black and the font color is white we need to increase the font size and it is bold this is also black and white so the formatting is done save this spreadsheet with the file name finder so let's save this as finder
the name is finder followed by your center number and candidate number. Place a formula in cell B6 that can be replicated down to B14. The formula must look up the code for each lake using the country stored in cell C3 and the external file M22 grid. So if you check M22 grid, you can see each country is shown and the codes of the lakes are shown for each country. Some of them have all codes filled, some of them have one, some of them two. Like that there is no uniformity in the number of lakes for each country. So here we need to, according to the country name, we need to show the code, lake codes here. If a country has all these codes, everything should be filled in. Make sure that within each formula, if there is no lake code, no error message or data is displayed. So first let's uh, insert the formula for the lakes. So we need to use a VLOOKUP function equal to VLOOKUP. Use fx to see the wizard. So the lookup value is the country name. Because based on country, we are going to look up the lake codes. Table array is from M22 grid, this complete table. Now the column index we need to get. For the first lake, the column index is 2. For the second lake, it is 3. For the third one, it is 4. It goes on like that. So we need to give the column index in that way. So click here. Now you can see here some numbers are given from 2. So if the code is 1, the column index will be 2. If the code is 2, the column index will be 3 uh, according to the grid table. So for the first code, we need to give column index 2. For the second one, we need to give 3. In that way, it goes on. So we cannot give a constant value here. For that you need to go to grid file, this file and the column index is this value. Once you give this value, it will look up the second one from that. Now when you replicate, it will, it will be A7. So it will look the third, uh, the value in the third column and so on. Range lookup is 0. For exact match. You okay. So when you replicate, you will get the you need to make sure the country name is constant. So select this C3 and make it absolute by adding the dollar sign. Now when you replicate, you can see all the lake codes are displayed. Now we have to make sure if there is no lake code, no error message is displayed. For example, if you change the country name, if I write Zambia here instead of Ethiopia, you can see because Zambia has only one lake code, all other are empty, it is showing zero here. So that zero should not be displayed. So we have to edit this formula to make sure if this VLOOKUP formula returns a 0, then nothing must be displayed. Otherwise, we have to display this VLOOKUP itself. So I edit this before editing, just copy this VLOOKUP. Now, if, I'll use an if statement, if VLOOKUP of this value equal to 0, if it is 0, we should not show anything. So just include two double inverted comma so that empty cell will be displayed. Otherwise, so in the else case, we will give the same VLOOKUP which we have copied. Now I'll close the IF formula. 
So if the VLOOKUP value returns a 0, if it's 0, nothing should be displayed. That's why we have given here double quotes to show empty cell. Otherwise, the same VLOOKUP should be shown with the value. Now let's press enter. Now if you replicate, you can see here empty values. And when you change country, it will show the values if it's there. So that is done. Place formula in cell C6 to G14 to look up the name, area, elevation, depth and type of water using the lake code in column B for the value and the external file M22 lake. So if you check the M22 lake file, you can see according to the lake codes, the name, country, area and other details are given. Now we have to look up those values here. So based on this code, I need to look up the value. So again, we we'll use VLOOKUP equal to VLOOKUP. The lookup value will be based on the code. So this is the lookup value. Table array is you can select the complete table. And first we need to look up the name. So the name is in column 2. You can see here name is in column 2. So the column index should be 2. And range lookup is 0 for exact match. Click OK. So you will get the code here. Now same way we have to do for area, elevation, depth and water. Only change is that the column index will change. So we can make this. We know that for all of this the column B is fixed. Only the row will change. In the next one when you replicate it will be. When you replicate it will be B7. Here it will be B8. Same way for area also, it will be B7, B8, like that it will go on. So you can see that the column is fixed, but the row only will change. So in order to make it easy to replicate, I'll make the column fixed by adding dollar sign before column. Now I'll replicate this way. So you can see all the lake names are shown. Now, if you change the country name here, have changed the name. You can see here error is shown because there is no code for the lake in these rows. So it is showing error not available. So if the lake code is empty then you should not show anything. That is even in the question here. Make sure that within each formula if there is no lake code no error message or data is displayed. So we need to edit the formula in such a way that Whenever it is empty here, nothing should be shown. So I'm going to edit this formula using if function. If, just like we did before, if this cell, this is the cell B2, sorry, B6 equal to empty. If it is empty, we should show empty cell only. Otherwise, only the VLOOKUP function should be evaluated. So the formula is this way. If it is, if the cell B6, that means if the code cell where the code is shown, that is empty, then empty value should be shown. Otherwise, we look up the one which we did here. Now. So press enter. And now you can replicate and see it will show empty values. And when you enter any other country name, It should work accordingly. For example, if you enter Tanzania, you can see names of three lakes and the three codes are shown. So it is changing accordingly. Now we need to do the same formula for area, elevation, depth and type of water. 
so we can use the same formula but only the column index will change the same formula can be used but the column index will change here the column index is 2 because in this file In this file name is in column 2 now we have to get the area area is in column 4 elevation in 5 and so on so let's replicate the formula so replicate this way now the lake names are shown because the column index is 2 for the area column index is 4 so change it to 4 for the elevation the column index is 5 Elevation is 5. For the depth, it is 6 and this is 7. Six and type of water, the column index is 7. So now you can select these together and replicate to get all the values so you can see all the values are shown here now when you change the country name only the required values are shown and all other cells are shown empty so this is the formula which we used if this code is empty this is also empty and we have used a VLOOKUP function with the lake file as the table array. Now for the other area, elevation, depth, water, you just need to change the column index based on the given file. Place your name, center number and candidate number left aligned in the header. So go to header. Here you have to give your name, center number and candidate number. Come back to normal view, view normal. Print your spreadsheet showing the formula. Make sure that it is in landscape orientation. So we need to print it showing the formula. To show the formula, go to formulas, show formulas. Now before printing you need to make sure it is adjusted so click at this corner and double click on the borders of the column so that all the data will be adjusted properly and all the formula will be visible. Now go to file, print, the orientation should be landscape, the row and column headings are displayed, the contents of all cells except column A are fully visible. We have to hide the column A. We have to do that in step 21. So right click on column A and hide. So you need to print it. Showing the row and column headings. So we need to show the row and column headings. For that go to page setup sheet row and column headings okay so the row and column headings are shown here and then you can print it enter into cell c3 the text kenya so come back to the file and hide the formulas now Again click at this corner and double click at the border of any column to adjust the data. Now you need to enter Kenya here. So the data has changed. Print the spreadsheet showing the values. Make sure printout fits on a single page. Contents of only cells B1 to G14 are visible. Rows and row and column headings are not displayed. So B1 to G14, make sure everything is visible.
it should be fit on a single page nothing is specified about the orientation so you can keep as it is make sure column a is hidden so you will print this without showing the row and column heading so go to page setup remove row and column heading so this has to be printed the next same way we have to enter tanzania and then print the values so when you enter tanzania you will get only three values then you need to print this as we did before next one we have to enter the text burundi so let's enter burundi so the data is shown and this has to be printed and finally your evidence document has to be printed which consists of evidences from both web page and spreadsheet so this is the end of this task you can find the link for web page in the description. Thank you for now.